Oh, what's going on, Toxic Gamers? Coming at you with the Season 2 of these seconds, man. These seconds getting caught, cheating left and right, cheaters are getting banned, and I mean, for the first time ever, I guess for the second time, not necessarily first time, for the second time ever, people are praising Activision, Bruh. right, for banning cheaters. We're gonna get down to it, guys. We got a new clip that is going right now. I got a bunch of stuff that I want to share with you guys. <laughs> like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you love God. Let's go for three likes on the video. Shout out to the homie Call of Shame Roller. Pop, who was recently Wait for permanently it. banned in Call of Duty, has Wait now created a new account. However, there is a massive new? problem. He has now just been shadow banned on the new account, and unfortunately for him, he is unable to verify the account, as he can't oh, remember man. the login information. Oh man, that's sad though, right? Like, yeah, I hate that feeling when you know you're trying to log in, but you cannot remember the the password, man. I, I hate that too, bro. So it is more than likely the account will now also be permanently banned, as Ricochet's AI will now link this to his previously banned account. This is Ricochet working, and working well. After some time, it became clear, he is indeed shadow banned. Daniel, he is now- For context, apparently the other day he ended up getting banned, permanently banned on his main account. And uh, it's highly suspected that he was banned for cheating. I mean, Activision themselves said that if you get permanently banned, it's because you were caught cheating. That's the word of Activision. So make of that what you will. There are people defending him. There are people saying that now nah, he got banned for cheating. I want to know, like, where you guys at. One, if you think he got banned for cheating. Two in the comments if you think, nah, false positive. I, I want to see, like, where you guys at. But apparently, he got banned again, though. <laughs> he got banned again. Wait for it. Now currently playing on a new account called Desperate Daryl. Desperate Daryl? More like Desperate Bobby. It's like watching a wounded animal at this point. Bruh. A big step down from the legendary Bobby Puff gaming. Yeah. I miss the old old Bobby Puff. Let me show you this. Damn this is Bobby. You greedy motherfuckers! Yeah. Trying to make a fucking living here. Tell him. And you greedy corporate can stop on my fucking 18 inch fuck. 18 inch, he said, bro. 18 inch. <laughs> so from 18 inch from making Activision suck his 18 inch BBC or BWC rather to this man like I miss the old Bobby man I miss the old Bobby bro I mean apparently people are telling me to hit up the fucking Better Bureau uh, business or the business of Better Bureau or some shit he means the Better Business Bureau okay 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 let me just tell you about the Better Business Bureau so I can just stop all this confusion Okay. All this nonsense about filing a complaint <laughs> with the Better Business Bureau. Let me remind you of something. Every single report you make is public, and I have access to them all. They also no. publish Activision's response. So if you want to make yourself look stupid, like these people. So, I'm a content creator. I spent a lot of money in this game, and I stream all my gameplays and post content on this. I've had my account for over four years. I've never been banned or shadow banned. And I got falsely banned on 9 24 25. Oh, 25? What? Like, uh, like, uh, like, 2025? In the future? Oh, okay, in America, I believe, like, the, the, the time is real. Okay. Ah, bruh. Like, you know, it's probably the September 25th, 2024. Okay, I get it. I get bruh. it. I get it. I did an appeal and got denied without hesitation for an apparently unauthorized software. This is effing because my PC is clean. I have never cheated in my life and would, uh, would stop the cap and would never cheat because it would put my dreams in jeopardize or jeopardy. Okay. I had multiple PC geeks check my PC for an unauthorized software and no one found anything. So the reason that I got banned was for no reason. So he like self uh, investigated. Okay. You never know, might be speaking facts though, listen man, like, I gotta give him the benefit of the doubt, might be speaking facts, but that 1 out of 5 star rating, oh, that's tough love. Try it. Tough because love, they man. were all denied. Because Activision's decision is final. Everyone has their own take on why- L Listen man, Activision, bro, <laughs> F them all, bro, but, uh, F Activision, absolutely, but, uh, this time, I guess, Activision doing the right thing? <laughs> Bobby got banned. Some say it's an unlocked tool. Others say it's because he was caught with cheats on his PC after the Windows update. Some claim it's a server-side issue, and others claim it's because someone used his account with cheats already installed. Yeah. Oh, Clara, uh, Clara syndrome. 
that Clara effect, right? You guys remember Clara? Like the video if you know if you get the reference. Activision still claim there are no false permanent bans. Yeah. And yeah. I reached out to Microsoft to see if the update could cause a ban. They clearly told me it does not cause users to get banned based on a Windows update. As we all try to get to the bottom of his ban, I want to present every fact. Okay. Okay. Bobby is claiming it's a false ban and someone installed cheats on his account. Mm, and while that is obviously effect. possible, in my opinion it's very unlikely. In my personal opinion, there is no question that cheat software was detected. Yeah, like, we gotta come from all the angles possible, right? Like, circus love different angles, so, you know, in this situation, yeah, we gotta attack from all angles. It is possible that somebody might have planted the, the seeds, the, the hacks on his account. And I believe somebody mentioned this, I could be wrong, somebody mentioned this, uh, he claimed, so... Take that as what you will, but take it as rumors, take it as rumors, right? Because I've been seeing this go around in the community that he said, which I cannot verify because uh, he streams for 10 hours a day, something like that, so I cannot verify. But somebody said that on his stream, Bobby claimed that uh, he kind of like paid somebody to unlock weapons Bruh. on his behalf. So he paid somebody, he plays for 10 hours, bro. Like damn, homie, like damn. So he plays for 10 hours, but he claimed that he paid somebody to unlock weapons for him, which is okay, understandable, I guess, right? Uh, and he is the guy that uses software, a uh, hacking software, to unlock all the guns, and this is why he got banned. That's kind of like what we're hearing, right? That's but but that's a rumor though. That's a rumor, right? Computer analyst on Twitter gives his take on why he thinks Bobby got banned. His own streamer Bobby Bob Gaming looks like has been caught in a ban wave in which account is being permanently banned. Now, is this an error on the Activision side? Is this an error with the anti-cheat? Well, I got some information to show that it might not be a mistake from Activision or the anti-cheat. Let's talk about it. A lot of people are saying that there is no current ban wave, but the thing is, I have information from a cheating Discord in which they posted this message, product removed. Due to many bans in the sections, we have decided to remove our MW3 Proton and Bubble ESP chair. Now this was posted on 9 30 2024 11 58 two minutes before midnight before hitting october 1st do you know another creator that has also been banned on october 1st now we have a picture from another cheating discord confirming that the chair has been detected it says stay off bubble esp while we investigate the bans now the thing with bobby pop gaming is that he received that temporary ban not on october 1st but a couple days after that now coincidentally we have another picture here saying mw3 chair i'm not going to name the chair woofer is now available for purchase now this came out as soon as the bubble esp and the proton chair have been detected okay. but shortly after that as of 6 49 this morning there was another message that's talking about that chair that has recently been released saying resolve the issue that was causing a small percentage of users to get banned now that is from the recent chair that was just updated after that old chair detection now the detection of that new chair coincides more closely with the timeline of bobby Bruh. puff being banned now we also have reports of saying that the recent windows 11 update is causing the permanent ban well yeah, look maybe. at this if maybe. you're on the latest windows 11 version you may be copying a perm so that means you're only going to get a perm of ban i, I want to show you like this clip in a second as well guys but and if you ran cheats because majority of the cheat providers have not adapted their cheats to the windows 11 update therefore mm. you cannot run it or if you can run it you are going to cop a ban so as of right now folks the research that i'm getting right now i'm compiling it still i'm seeing how this plays out but it's not looking good right now for bobby pop gaming well bobby has not okay all of that research done just to say it's over <laughs> all of that a and the conclusion is that it's over for bobby damn man i, I want to show you this clip for uh wait for it not said publicly the reason i am sure it's manipulation of game data i have my own suspicion on why bobby was banned but i can't share that now not yet okay. not yet at the oh. moment based on what so he's waiting for like a sequel video okay so sequel confirmed fellas we have seen this is my current thinking that may change as more information is released yeah but for now that's yeah. all we have okay i want to show you this clip so shout out to the homie ghost of eight eight thoughts captain eight thoughts uh king eight thoughts i guess <laughs> uh, check, check this out roll it so now on his new account he has been banned uh again yeah. All the shot down, you best believe it. Up into the dot of the five, gift it up and into the divot of blood. Sitting here waiting. Uh, wait, Daryl, are you in the chat? Maybe and waiting to get into band. lobbies because he's just been shadow banned again. But I permanent ban, shadow ban now. Just sitting here waiting. 
Can't find lobbies. Daryl, do you need my account info or my account n- numbers are? Uh, I think I am shadow banned, brother. What, what's that? I think it was shadow banned. Um, Maybe the numbers are just Bobby Paw four three eight three zero nine nine. This dude is cooked. So he's he's trying to reach out somebody, right, and give his uh, a gamer tag, I guess, full on to find out. I guess, yeah. Not bad. Yeah, not too bad. My Wait, so they keep they keep banning any account you're making? Well, I don't really know because if are you just getting like rage uh, reported? I might probably, have gotten reported probably. on that account because it was a level fifty. So I don't really know, but this one's a level three hundred. So I, oh, I, I honestly, I don't know. I've never been in this loop before, but it sucks. How many accounts has this guy got? So he said, "I this is a level fifty. Everyone's level three hundred. How many accounts does this freaking cheater have? And yes, you are going to get shadow banned every single time, Bobby, because you're playing on an account. Your IP, your PC itself, has been banned and is now unable to be. W Activision or L Activision? I want to know where you guys live. Uh, connected. Like, you're going to get shadow banned every single time and eventually permanently banned. And then what's funny, though, what's funny, though, he keeps trying to circumvent this ban. And now they want him to verify his new account because he keeps yeah. trying to create new accounts. But he has been permanently banned because mm. Activision has already stated officially that when someone is permanently banned, it goes through a lot of channels to make sure that it is legit. Yeah. Yeah, like Activision said that. And, and listen, man, I, I don't want to trust Activision, but I, I still think that false positives can happen. But in this situation, it's kind of like, yeah, right. And what he's uh, what is being said is that he paid somebody to unlock the weapons, not necessarily cheat. Make of that what you will. I, I don't know. There's like a lot of opinions being around. Uh, a lot of people throwing their opinions, which is understandable. It's 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 complicated, right? It's complicated. All I know is that guys. Don't uh, don't tick 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 man. Don't tick 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 tick. Like the homie face swag, okay? Don't tick 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 man. Just uh, just just play, just play games, man. That's it, bro. Simple. Especially when someone is a big streamer like Bobby Poff, aka an Activision advertising agent. That that's uh, yeah, that's another point, right? So a lot of people are like, hey, the fact that Bobby, you know, Bobby Poff, you know, Activision BBC writer, Activision. Uh, Fan, Activision <laughs> influencer yeah he's an influencer right he promotes the game right so him getting banned he was on a white list according to him right he said that so the fact that he was on a white list and still got banned by Activision yeah right so at this point I guess there's no false positive to help trick little kids into thinking Call of Duty is cool, man. Yeah, look at me, I'm so cool, raging at the video games, man. Oh, yeah. And right here, once again, too funny, he's still having to use right. Kobe and trying to, you know, just get over thank the you. fact. Like, thank, listen, you for, thank you for subscribing, thank you. It's fucking over, Bobby. You got busted harder than anybody in the history of Call of Duty, and uh, you better call your Activision hand. Yeah, Bam's also got Perma Bam too, right, a while ago. And I believe he made not, another account and he got banned again on that one too, so Bam's was caught cheating i guess uh, he was banned for cheating too there it's like bro like so many of the big streamers and gameplay guys uh they are cheating though in some way and try to get on that white list so that you can uh, you know get back to cheating and uh, streaming and everything which is so funny before i show this last little clip here is like how it says nukes drop 307 hacker tracker one yeah hacker tracker one you bobby poff you bitch verify my account what the fuck <laughs> awesome well i can't verify my account no, no you can't oh. bobby it's joe where guys whatever you do do not watch this video insane drama that went down recently don't watch this one check out the video on the left and i'll see you right there